Hi everyone and welcome back. If you're new, welcome. I'm really glad you joined us. My name is Sergio Gabor and I'm a quality engineer in the automotive industry. In this episode, we'll be looking at a night vision system for your car. Night vision systems were first introduced on the Cadillac DeVille back in 2000 and are still available on premium cars as an optional extra with a hefty price tag. However, the device we'll be looking at is far cheaper and can be used on any car. We'll first go over the two main types of night vision systems and what advantages they bring. After which, we'll take a look at this device to understand how it compares and how it works. After this, we'll install it on a car and take it for a nighttime test drive. Let's get started. Before we dive in, I would like to propose something new, both for me and for this channel. In spite of recent events, not far from where I live, I decided to donate all the Patreon income for the past two months and all revenue generated by this video to the people of Ukraine. It's not much, I know, I'm not Mr. Beast, but every dollar counts. As I'm recording this, I'm not exactly sure what's the best way to do this, but I'll find a way. So, if you would like to join me in offering support to the people of Ukraine, you can become a one-time Patreon member and all the money we manage to gather, I will donate. If you are unable to support financially, just like and share the video as I'll also donate the revenue generated. You can find the link to my Patreon page in the description. We are united for Ukraine. Now, back to the video, there are two types of automotive night vision systems, active and passive. Active systems use an infrared light source to illuminate the road ahead. This light is invisible to the human eye so it doesn't disturb oncoming traffic. Imagine this as having an extra headlight that is projecting invisible light. This invisible light is only seen by a special camera with the feed being displayed on your dash. This system provides higher resolution image but does not work well in foggy conditions. Passive systems, on the other hand, do not use an infrared illuminator. Instead, they use a special camera designed to capture the infrared light emitted by objects, also known as thermal radiation. Any warm object emits infrared light and this camera can see it. The downside of the passive systems is the lower resolution and higher price. Both systems offer black and white video and here you can see the difference between them. This video feed is either displayed on your center console screen or on your desk screen, with newer model displaying it on the heads-up display. Now that we know the basics of automotive night vision, let's take a look at the aftermarket product. This is the Lanmodo Vast Pro Night Vision System. At this moment, it has a starting price of $370 and offers 1080p video recording. Although at some point, Lanmodo charged $600 for this device. It can be paired with an additional rear-facing normal camera for better surveillance as it also offers dashcam functionality with up to 128GB of storage. The device can be mounted either using the adhesive base or the suction cup both included in the box and power can be supplied either by the OBD adapter or via the classic 12V cigarette lighter. Looking over the specifications, Lanmodo compares this product with the non-pro version and a factory installed system. Right away, we can see that both aftermarket products offer full color, which in this field represents the cutting edge of technology. And as far as I know, it's only used by the military. It has a 45 degree field of view and seems to be using an active infrared system with a light magnification. I'm not sure what that means, as light magnification is the basic principle through which a microscope works. So, what? <laughs> In addition, it also offers super night vision, which I believe refers to the color feature, recording function, parking monitoring, an accelerometer, and nano glue technology. Wait, nano glue technology? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> it's just a sticky silicone base, there's nothing nano about it. This is like calling your toilet paper nano and expecting it to be better than regular toilet paper. <laughs> Introducing nano toilet paper, the pinnacle of wiping technology. For ants. 
Yeah, I hate companies that use fancy words out of context just to advertise basic functions. In any case, as I mentioned, it looks like Lanmodo forgot to update the price for this product in this table, which initially had a starting price of $600. Quite steep for a dashcam, but great for a color night vision system that's used by multi-million dollar attack helicopters. <laughs> However, let's take a closer look at the device and perform some real-life testing before we draw any conclusions. So, according to Lanmodo, this device is using an active infrared system. This means that it requires an infrared illuminator. But there's nothing in the box and nothing on the device to provide this functionality. This doesn't look good. Anyway, let's install it and check the video quality, after which we'll take it for a spin. We also have a Xiaomi dash cam on this car and we'll compare the footage between the two cameras. Ok, with the lights on in my garage, the video looks hmm, decent for a dash cam. It has a narrow field of view, so not ideal for this purpose. You can see here the difference in field of view when compared with the Xiaomi dash cam. Now, let's switch off the lights and see the night vision in action. Guys, this is not night vision. What you're looking at is the video feed from an image sensor with a very high ISO. If you don't know, the ISO level represents the sensor sensitivity to light. The higher the ISO, the more light it can capture. However, it's not that easy as very high ISO levels can produce a lot of noise in your video or photo. And as we can see here, there is a lot of noise in these video samples. Compared with the Xiaomi dash cam, there's less noise, but also fewer details. To be honest, none of these two cameras are usable in pitch dark conditions. For your reference, this is what my garage looks like with active night vision and this with passive night vision. But cars have headlights, so it might get better during normal night driving conditions. Let's take a look. Oh my god, that's absolutely horrible. I'm pretty sure I had a better webcam back in 1998. What's up with those light flares? Jesus f***ing Christ. Let's now take it on a closed road and see how it does. So, before I go full crazy and talk about the conclusions, I must mention that this device was sent to me for free by Lanmodo. But sending me a free sample and expecting me to promote it just because it's free, it's not gonna happen. 
I respect the people who come to watch my videos and any product reviewed here will receive a fair test and unbiased opinion from me. Looking for other reviews, it seems like I'm not the only one who received this device. But compared with other influencers, God, I hate that word, who promote garbage like this, I will be completely honest. Do not buy this crap, it's useless and it's not worth even 20 bucks. Every review I've seen of this device compares the video output seen on the device with what you can see through the handheld camera. That's not how cameras work. Let me show you what I mean. Here you can see my camera and I'm recording with my phone. On the phone footage, it's basically pitch black. But look at that, on my camera screen you can see some details. This doesn't mean it has night vision system, it just has better light sensitivity. With my bare eyes I can see just as well as the camera. My phone, on the other hand, is not that sensitive and the footage is darker. Moreover, the video quality is absolutely horrible on this night vision system. It records at 1080p, but the video quality is horrible as well as the frame rate. The lens mentions HDR. Do they even know what HDR mean? It's high dynamic range, and this camera doesn't even come close to something like that. And speaking about the lens, it uses cheap plastic instead of anti-reflecting glass. That's why you can see those UFOs on the footage. It's advertised as having active night vision. No, no it doesn't. It just cranks up the ISO until you can fry eggs on it. Look, Dirlan Modo Timo. At least do 5 minutes of research before you slap fancy terminology on your devices and ask $600 for a 1998 webcam. It's outrageous. I have had this device for several months and during my testing I couldn't find any situation in which this device is useful. Quite the contrary, I find it quite distracting being so laggy and seeing those flares every time a light source passes by. And for the love of Pete. Don't drive around at night without your headlights to test this device. You'll end up in a ditch before you can scream I CAN'T SEE SHIT! So, I think I'll stop now and I hope you can understand my point. If you really need to see better at night, you can upgrade your headlights with better bulbs, LEDs, xenons for far less money and you'll be able to see much better using your own eyes. <laughs> Fortunately, I have quite a few videos about that, so feel free to browse my channel for anything you're interested in. If you liked this video or found the information useful, hit that like button and subscribe for more honest reviews. And let's help Ukraine together. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and I wish you have a great day. Bye bye!